Hey everyone, it's Sunday, so you know what that means. It's time for story time. This week, I have a really cool book called Bog Frog Hop by Kyle Mewburn, illustrated by Rebecca Cool. Now, this book is all about tadpoles. How do tadpoles morph? How do they become frogs, toads, newts, salamanders? All the really cool amphibious animals that we love. So first, we're gonna talk about a couple different types of amphibians. Uh, first one I'll touch on is frogs. Now, there's a few different ways to tell a frog from a toad. First is that frogs all have smooth skin. As you can tell by looking at them, you can see there's a very, very smooth surface there. Now, toads have bumpy skin. One of my favorite things, though, about trying to tell the difference between them, especially if you're looking at native ones, is I always say that uh, toads have frowns and have a bulldog stance, whereas frogs always look happy and like really glad that you found them and sitting out there. So there's looks about their faces, but that's not always true, depending on where you're at. I just think with native ones, it looks like that. But typically, your frogs are gonna have a smooth skin. Now, this is one of my favorite types of frogs ever because this one is a type of poison dart frog called a Phyllobates terribilis. Uh, as the name implies, terribilis means terrible. This is the single most toxic land animal on the planet when it's out in the wild. So he can carry up to one milligram of toxin at any given point, okay? So that one milligram of toxin is enough to kill about 15 people. And they'll do it in probably about five to 10 minutes. Uh, basically it attacks your nervous system. It can force your heart to stop or your lungs to stop. It can send you an anaphylactic shock all kinds of interesting things. But from a medical standpoint, there's lots of really interesting things that we could do with dart frog toxin. We can make medicines, like we could replace morphine with the type of toxins that are in there, but make them so they're not lethal and also make it so they're not addictive. Uh, one of the reasons we need to save the rainforest, aside from them being literally the earth's lungs and the whole reason that we have the oxygen that we do, is that some of the animals there carry very, very special modifications that we can't find anywhere else. So it's very important that we look over these guys. Now, as I mentioned with the book, we're gonna be talking about tadpoles. So I don't have any eggs to show you, but another difference between frogs and toads is if you're ever out in a pond or if you have a pool that hasn't been cleaned in a while, you might see egg masses. So basically they look like clear gelatin with this tiny black circle in them. Now, if these are in long strands, which we call strands of pearl, those are gonna be from toads. Frogs will just lay clumps of eggs. So if it looks like a big slimy basketball with little dots in it, then you have frog eggs. Now, those eggs can take anywhere between a couple weeks to a couple months to start uh, changing and then hatch out of that little gelatin sac. That depends on the species. And when that happens, you get a nice little tadpole. So you can see this little guy in there. He's trying to hide in his plants a little bit trying to make it so you can see it because I can't take him out of the water at all. Oh, you moving a little bit, buddy? There we go. So you can see him swimming along. He has a paddled tail. Um, if we were to look at him very closely, he also has external gills. They look like little red veins sticking out the side of his face and that's gonna be how he breathes. Now, eventually after a couple weeks, he's gonna double to triple in size and he's gonna become more like this guy right here. And it's hard to see in there because he keeps wiggling around, but this guy's starting to develop his feet, which you can see those little lumps right towards the back of his tail. That's his back legs forming. Eventually those back legs form and then the front legs pop out. And eventually then that tail starts to be absorbed into the body. Once the tail's fully absorbed and the legs are formed, he's then gonna go up on land. And when that happens, you end up with this guy. So right now I actually have, let's see, here's an Azurius that still has his tail, but also has his legs. Kind of hard to see, sorry about that, but again, I'm not taking him out of the water at all. I need him to stay in there so you guys can kind of see it, but all four legs are formed, the tail's there and it's getting shorter and shorter by the day. And we, what we do is we prop these cups up like this so he's in water. Then when the tail gets absorbed, he can come up on the land and then we have a fully formed frog. So with that in mind, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna read Bog Frog Hop by Kyle Muber. And what I'll do is I'm gonna tilt the camera down so you guys can still kind of see all the tadpoles and everything. As I drop the book too, 
I don't do edits, you guys know that. That makes it more fun. So I'll do this and I'll put the frogs kind of front and center and I'll just kind of lean down and read to you guys so you can still see the frogs while at the same time I read the book. So we're doing a little bit different than normal today just because I can't hold these frogs up or the tadpoles while still reading. Maybe this is where an actual cameraman would come into handy, but it's more fun winging it. So there, that's better. Now you can see all of our tadpoles that are forming. You can see the small tadpoles I have here and then also our adult frog. So Bog Frog Hop by Kyle Muberg. Soggy bog, mossy log, 10 slippery pollywogs plopping in the soggy bog. Plip plop pollywogs. Drip drop raindrops, glip glop mud glops. Plip plop flip flop, one slippery pollywog grows legs becomes a frog. Nine slippery pollywogs plopping in the soggy bog, one flippy floppy frog sitting on the mossy log. Croak, croak, lonely frog. Drip drop raindrops, flip glop mud glops, flip flop hip hop, eight slippery pollywogs plopping in the soggy bog, two flippy floppy frogs sitting on the mossy log. Croak, croak, happy frogs. Drip drop raindrops, flip glop mud glops, flip flop splish splosh, seven slippery pollywogs plopping in the soggy bog. Three flippy floppy frogs sitting on the mossy log, one scruffy 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 dog splashing on the rain and fog. Splish splosh splashing dog, croak croak grumpy frogs. I thought I could make it all the way through without getting completely tongue tied, but the scruffy dog threw me off. Drip drop raindrops, flip clop mud glop, splish splosh, sniff sniff, six slippery pollywogs plopping in the soggy bog. Four grumpy grumpy frogs sitting on the mossy log, one scruffy scruffy dog sniffing sloppery pollywogs. Sniff sniff, nosy dog, croak croak, frowning frogs. Drip drop, raindrops, glip glop, mud glop, sniff sniff, woof woof, five slippery pollywogs plopping in the soggy bog. Five grumpy grumpy frogs sitting on the mossy log, one scruffy scruffy dog barking at the pollywogs. Woof woof, barky dog, croak croak, cranky frogs. Drip drop, raindrops, glip glop, mud glops. Woof woof, splish splosh, four slippery pollywogs popping in the soggy bog. Six grumpy grumpy frogs sitting on the mossy log. One scruffy scruffy dog chasing slippery pollywogs. Splish splosh, sloggy dog, croak croak, muddy frogs. Drip drop, raindrops, glip glop, mud glop, splish plosh, splish splash, three slippery pollywogs popping in the soggy bog. Seven grippy grumpy frogs sitting on the mossy log, one scruffy scruffy dog splashing all after pollywogs. Splish splash, speedy dog, croak croak, soggy frogs. Drip drop, raindrops, glip glop, mud glop, splish splash, cuss splish, cuss splash, two slippery pollywogs popping in the soggy bog, eight grumpy grumpy frogs sitting on the mossy log, one splishy splashy dog splashing in the rain and fog. Cuss splish, cuss splash, happy dog, croak croak, lots of frogs. Drip drop, glip glop, flip plop, flip flop, splish splosh, splish plosh, splish splash, the plish complash. One lonely pollywog plopping in the soggy bog, nine grippy grumpy frogs sitting on the mossy log, one splishy splashy dog searching for the pollywog. Squish squelch, sad dog, croak croak, noisy frogs. Drip drop, rain stops, splish splosh, so does dog. No more drips, no more drops, no more glips or clips or plops. No more slippery poly wogs plopping in the soggy bog. Woof woof, go home dog. Ten floppy frogs hopping in the soggy bog. Hip hop, flip flop, up and down the mossy log. Croak croak, happy frogs.
the end. So that was a really, really fun tongue twisting tale. Uh, even that phrase is a tongue twisting tale. The only time will tell how many times I end up tripping up on my own tumultuous words. Almost got another one there. So I hope you guys learned a lot about uh, tadpole development and about our awesome, awesome friend, the Philo Babies Terribilis. And also enjoyed this uh, book because this was my first time reading it and I loved it. So I hope you guys learned a lot. I hope you tune in and uh, go ahead and hit the subscribe, share this video, send it to everybody you know, because as I've said before, I love teaching people about animals. So here we go.